Consecration is the solemn dedication to a special purpose or service, usually religious. The word consecration literally means, "...association with the sacred". Persons, places, or things can be consecrated, and the term is used in various ways by different groups. The origin of the word comes from the Latin word consecrate, which means dedicated, devoted, and sacred. A synonym for to consecrate is to sanctify, a distinct antonym is to desecrate. Buddhism Images of the Buddha and Bodhisattvas are ceremonially consecrated in a broad range of Buddhist rituals that vary depending on the Buddhist traditions. Buddhabhisika is a Pali and Sanskrit term referring to these consecration rituals. Christianity Roman Catholic Church Consecration is used in the Catholic Church as the setting apart for the service of God of both persons and objects. Topic: <inaudible> Ordination of bishops. The ordination of a new bishop is also called a consecration. While the term episcopal ordination is now more common, consecration was the preferred term from the Middle Ages through the period including the Second Vatican Council the 11th of October 1962 to the 8th of December 1965 the Vatican II document constitution on the sacred liturgy n 76 states both the ceremonies and texts of the ordination rites are to be revised the address given by the bishop at the beginning of each ordination or consecration may be in the mother tongue when a bishop is consecrated, the laying of hands may be done by all the bishops present. The English text of Catechism of the Catholic Church, 2nd edition, 1997, under the heading, "'Episcopal Ordination—Fullness of the Sacrament of Holy Orders'", uses "'Episcopal Consecration' as a synonymous term, using "'Episcopal Ordination' and "'Episcopal Consecration' interchangeably. CCCNN, 1556–1558 The Code of Canon Law Latin English Edition, 1983, under "'Title V' Orders", uses the term sacre ordinationis minister, "'Minister of Sacred Ordination", and the term consecration episcopali, "'Episcopal Consecration", CCLCC, 1012, 1014 Topic. Consecrated life The life of those who enter religious institutes and similar institutes is also described as consecrated life. The rite of consecration of virgins can be traced back at least to the 4th century. By the time of the Second Vatican Council, the bestowal of the consecration was limited to cloistered nuns only. The council directed that this should be revised. Two similar versions were prepared, one for women living in monastic orders, another for consecrated virgins living in the world. An English translation of the rite for those living in the world is available on the website of the United States Association of Consecrated Virgins. Topic: <laughs> Churches, altars, and other ritual objects. Chrism, an anointing oil, is usually scented olive oil consecrated by a bishop. Objects such as patens and chalices, used for the sacrament of the Eucharist, are consecrated by a bishop, using sacred chrism. Before a new priest is ordained, the day before there is a vigil and a service or mass at which the ordaining bishop consecrates the ordinands the man or men who are transitional deacons, about to be ordained priests patens and chalices. A more solemn rite exists for what used to be called the "...consecration of an altar." either of the altar alone or as the central part of the rite for a church. The rite is now called the dedication. Since it would be contradictory to dedicate to the service of God a mortgage-burdened building, the rite of dedication of a church is carried out only if the building is debt-free. Otherwise, it is only blessed. Eucharist <inaudible> 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 A very special act of consecration is that of the bread and wine used in the Eucharist, which according to Catholic belief involves their change into the body and blood of Christ, a change referred to as transubstantiation. To consecrate the bread and wine, the priest speaks the words of institution. <laughs> Eastern churches 
In the Eastern Orthodox churches and the Eastern Catholic churches, the term consecration can refer to either the sacred mystery sacrament of charotonia ordination through laying on of hands of a bishop or the sanctification and solemn dedication of a church building it can also more rarely be used to describe the change of the bread and wine into the body and blood of christ at the divine liturgy the chrism used at chrismation and the antimension placed on the holy table are also said to be consecrated topic <laughs> protestant churches Church buildings, chapels and altars are consecrated to the purpose of religious worship, baptismal fonts and vessels are consecrated for the purpose of containing the Eucharistic elements, the bread and wine, the body and blood of Christ. A person may be consecrated for a specific role within a religious hierarchy, or a person may consecrate his or her life in an act of devotion. In particular, the ordination of a bishop is often called a consecration. In churches that follow the doctrine of apostolic succession, the historical episcopate, the bishops who consecrate a new bishop are known as the consecrators and form an unbroken line of succession back to the apostles. Those who take the vows of religious life are said to be living a consecrated life. The Methodist Book of Worship for Church and Home, 1965, contains a liturgies for the order for the consecration of bishops, an office for the consecration of deaconesses. An office for the consecration of directors of Christian education and directors of music, as well as an office for the opening or consecrating of a church building, among others. Among some religious groups, there is a service of deconsecration to return a formerly consecrated place to secular purpose, for instance, if the building is to be sold or demolished. In the Church of England, Mother Church of the Anglican Communion, an order closing a church may remove the legal effects of consecration. Topic: <inaudible> Restorationist Christianity. Mormon Christianity is replete with consecration doctrine, primarily Christ's title of the Anointed One, signifying his official, authorized and unique role as the savior of mankind from sin and death, and secondarily each individual's opportunity and ultimate responsibility to accept Jesus' will for their life and consecrate themselves to living thereby wholeheartedly. Book of Mormon examples include, "...sanctification cometh because of their yielding their hearts unto God," Helaman 335, and Come unto Christ, who is the Holy One of Israel, and partake of his salvation, and the power of his redemption, and offer your whole souls as an offering unto him, and continue in fasting and praying, and endure to the end, and as the Lord liveth ye will be saved." Omni other restorationist denominations include consecration doctrine as a requirement or opportunity to secure special blessings, expansion and citations needed. Hinduism In most South Indian Hindu temples around the world, Kumbhabhishekam, or the temple's consecration ceremony, is done once every twelve years. It is usually done to purify the temple after a renovation or simply done to renew the purity of the temple. Hindus celebrate this event on the consecration date as the witnessing gives a good soul a thousand punya or good karma. Jainism Panch Kalanaka Pratishtha is a traditional Jain ceremony that consecrates one or more Jain Tirthankara icons with celebration of Panch Kalanaka five auspicious events. The ceremony is generally held when new Jain temple is erected or new idols are installed in temples. The consecration must be supervised by a religious authority, an acharya or a bhadaraka or a scholar authorized by them. See also Consecrated Virgin Cornerstone Dedication Nazarite Vow Notes Bibliography Service Book of the Holy Orthodox Catholic Apostolic Church, Isabel F. Hapgood Antiochian Orthodox Christian Archdiocese of North America, New York 1975. 
Orthodox Dogmatic Theology, a Concise Exposition, Protopresbyter Michael Pomazansky tr. Hieromonk Seraphim Rose, St. Herman of Alaska Brotherhood, Platina C.A. 1984. The Law of God, Archpriest Seraphim Slobodskoy tr. Holy Trinity Monastery, Jordanville, N.Y. 1996. Topic: External links. Consecration article in Catholic Encyclopedia. Consecration of an Orthodox Church. Six pages of photos. Serbian Orthodox Church. Photos of consecration of altar and antimons in the Russian Orthodox Church. The sanctification of Holy Chrism by the Ecumenical Patriarchate Virginity article in Catholic Encyclopedia discussing consecration of a virgin Kumbhabhishekam by the modern international Hindu agamic cultural organization